As automakers strive to meet the demands of a rapidly changing world, they're bringing new technology, safety features, and design concepts to the forefront of their 2024 lineups. And these are the top anticipated 2024 car models that you might like too. Ferrari Puro Sangue. We never imagined that the day would come when a Ferrari SUV would exist. Still, after a high-performance sports car and a string of highly profitable releases, the Italian company has finally given in to the relentless market pressure and created the 2024 Ferrari Puro Sangue. Just imagine, this SUV has a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine. The pinnacle of Ferrari is a screaming 715 horsepower and the company's iconic red-painted valve colors. Ferrari claims that the Puro Sangue's powerful 528 pound-feet of torque will enable it to hit 62 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds and reach a top speed of 193 miles per hour. Because the Puro Sangue boasts a promising sounding standard adaptive suspension, we're keen to see how it handles. The technology exerts stress on the dampers to prevent body roll during turning movements. Surprisingly, the SUV has a small electric motor at each corner. The Puro Sangue can also hunker down during difficult driving by stepping down its ride height by 0.4 inches because it doesn't need conventional anti-roll bars. One thing's for sure, that it will be more expensive than that Lamborghini Urus you see everywhere now. Subaru Impreza Subaru has simplified its Impreza model lineup for 2024 to highlight the car's sportiness, adaptability, and competence. There are currently three trim options for the Impreza, Base, Sport, and the new RS. When the compact car reaches Subaru retailers this spring, it'll only be available as a five-door hatchback. The 2024 Impreza was created with the idea of utility and sportiness that supports an active lifestyle in mind. A redesigned Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system that is standard across the model line provides quicker response times, more agile handling, and better cornering. Subaru's active torque vectoring is a standard feature that improves the all-wheel drive system even further. A 2-liter 4-cylinder direct injection Subaru Boxer engine with a 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque is featured in the base and sport versions. A 2.5-liter Boxer engine with an outstanding 182 horsepower and 178 pound-feet of torque is now standard on the new RS model. A linear Tronic CVT is included with every trim level. The Sport and RS trims have an 8-speed manual mode with paddle shifters on the steering wheel that allows the driver to select from 8 preset ratios to manage the transmission. A double electronic power steering rack from the WRX racing car will also be added to the 2024 Subaru Impreza, providing a more direct and sensitive steering feel. Amazing stuff so far, but there's a lot more to come. VinFast VF7 the VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it may end up being a possible best fan favorite of VinFast's electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it's compact enough for confined urban environments but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions, just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive plus variant. Regarding the front-drive single-motor VF7 Eco, expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather upholstery trim and a panoramic sunroof. A front LED light bar with animated effects and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Dodge Charger when the next generation Charger goes on sale for the 2024 model year, it will be an entirely new car for the Dodge lineup. A four-door model will also be added to the roster, but we'll learn more about either vehicle closer to its debut. There will most likely be more trim levels for the 2024 Charger, but we only know of three for now. 
The number of engines that will power the various trims of the new Charger is still to be disclosed by Dodge, but the base 340 model is expected to produce 455 horsepower, while the mid-range 440 models is expected to produce 590 horsepower. An all-wheel drive 800 volt architecture will be used by a high performance trim known as SRT Banshee, although the model's horsepower capacity has yet to be disclosed. We also know that the initial prototype employs a multi-speed transmission rather than the traditional EV direct drive system. Strong acceleration also gives the driver the impression of a gear shift. Cadillac Celestic For many years, the Cadillac has struggled to compete with European luxury brands. Still, it has persevered as seen by the release of its new electric flagship, the new 2024 Celestic Luxury Sedan. Although this stunning vehicle resembles the new Lyric EV SUV in terms of family resemblance, it stands out thanks to its slender lines, sweeping roof, and bustling rear end. The designers at Cadillac claim to have combined historical design cues with cutting-edge technologies that forecast the future course of the American luxury brand. The interior decor is equally as dramatic as the exterior, and the cabin dazzles with vividly colored leather, a 55-inch digital dashboard, and bucket seats designed in the Ames style. A small group of artisans will hand-build each Celestic as the line assembles them. According to the EPA, the Ultium battery pack that powers the Celestic is big enough to provide around 300 miles of driving range per charge. According to Cadillac, a 200 kilowatt connection will give the battery a range of 78 miles in just 10 minutes. Porsche Macan EV Porsche's 2024 electrification initiatives are getting even more aggressive after the launch of the Macan EV. Before the new crossover makes its official appearance, Porsche will make the performance rear axle available with the Macan EV, depending on the model, when it goes on sale. The two valve shock absorbers for the Porsche Active Suspension Management System are one of the new features of the Macan EV. They are available with steel or air suspensions, independently adjustable, and will provide better damper characteristics. The front and rear tires will have different widths to enable the rear-biased weight distribution, and wheel sizes will go up to 22 inches. The new data aids in giving the Macan EV a complete picture. In its most powerful configuration, the crossover will have up to 603 horsepower and more than 738 pound-feet of torque. In addition, it will have the technology, features, and suspension needed to harness all this power. Rolls-Royce Spectre The hallmark of a Rolls-Royce has always been quiet, smooth propulsion. It has had a V12 engine ever since the company's brand was incorporated into the BMW group in 2003. But other than nostalgia for gasoline, there are a few reasons why switching to an all-electric power won't enhance the distinctive Rolls-Royce experience. The first ever 2024 Rolls-Royce Spectre EV fills that gap. The luxury brand makes the front and rear electric motors for the Spectre. They produce 664 pound-feet of torque and 577 horsepower. A battery that has a capacity of more than 100 kilowatt hours provides power. Although it has a different design, the battery has the same chemistry as the BMW iX M60. According to Rolls-Royce, the Spectre's anticipated range on a full charge is 320 miles. By applying the WLTP standard, which is utilized in Europe, although EPA estimates can vary slightly, a range of about 300 miles is reasonable. A sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 4.4 seconds. However, a Rolls-Royce isn't about violence and is unsuitable for drag strip competitions against a Tesla. Mercedes-AMG EQE SUV Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was the more potent AMG model, giving the 5-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motif. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar, and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes AMG EQE SUV, from the base 350 plus to the AMG. The rear wheel drive 350 plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatts, and 417 pound-feet of torque or 565 newton meters of torque. 
Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower or 392 kilowatts EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 354 Matic. Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. Kia Seltos. For its 2024 year model, a Kia crossover covers every necessity you could imagine, and it gets even better because the tiny Seltos is one of its most cost-effective models. Although it's only been around for a while, its optional turbocharged engine and excellent space utilization have already won over a large crowd. With the Seltos, Kia has taken nothing for granted for a car that is already so accomplished and is moving forward with improvements for the small SUV. The Seltos product line consists of a total of five trims, the LX, S, EX, Nightfall Edition, and SX Turbo are some of them. The 1.6 liter turbocharged engine is paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission in the remaining trims, while the 2 liter normally aspirated engine is standard in the first three models. Except for the S, which may be ordered with either FWD or AWD, all models come standard with AWD. The large 10.25-inch touchscreen, automatic climate control, remote engine start, and smart key access are all available starting with the S model. The EX comes standard with a sunroof, while the SX may add one as an option. Both vehicles also have blind spot warnings and rear cross traffic alerts. The Nightfall has a stronger engine but isn't quite as well equipped as the EX. One good thing, however, is that it looks nicer. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. This vehicle will have a seating capacity of 7 or 8. The Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of the three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There's no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it's anticipated that this vehicle will feature a huge usable capacity battery, and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price.